there's so many areas of our life that we don't realize how much more we have in the tank, how much more that we're capable of, what our potential, where our potential truly ends. And I think the, the most interesting part was when I quit, when I stopped, like when I finished, that was when the pain set in. And so if you think about that in, in your life, any pain that you've gone through or any pain that you may be going through right now, is it possible that it's coming from you stopping short or it's coming from you quitting something or it's coming from you not pushing yourself as far as you could go? If you think the cost of success is high, wait till you get the bill of failure. And that's is about as real as it gets. And that is called regret. And regret, I don't know about you, but it's terrifying. I challenge you today to start viewing your world through this progression. Gifts, purpose, potential, and passion. Only when you operate out of your gifts will you realize your purpose in life. Remember, they're possessed without question. Regardless of your beliefs in a higher power, you must understand that you were not placed on this earth by accident. You were given a finite period of time here for a purpose. And that purpose will require you to use your gifts to reach your full potential. And guess what happens when you're chasing your gifts, living life on purpose and reaching your full potential? Guess what starts to emerge and begins to grow like a wildfire? Passion. But so many of us, we chase passion. But passion is not possessed without question. Passion is not God-given. Passion isn't something you have, it's something you develop. What are the other areas of my business, relationships, with my mind that I'm still just scratching the surface of my potential, still just scratching the surface of what's possible and how far I could potentially take it. And what pain will be caused if I don't continue to keep pushing? What pain will ultimately cause me to cramp up and cause me uh, to feel fatigued if I don't keep going? And there are so many people out there that have just settled, that have just settled, um, because it was comfortable, settled because it was normal. Um, it was just what got easy, uh, what got, they got used to doing. Um, and again, what was comfortable. And so that would be my challenge from this podcast is to start looking at all the areas of your life and look at which areas have I just stopped pushing myself. Like I mentioned in the beginning of this podcast that I used running as a way to reintroduce self-development and read and listening to audiobooks and podcasts and sermons. I had to reintroduce that because I realized that was an area that I had stopped pushing. And so what area of your life have you stopped pushing? Have you stopped, you know, moving forward in? We're all going to die, but you do not want to die knowing that you could have done better, knowing that you left so much stuff um, unattended to and, and unaccomplished and, and regret. It's all about regret. But our gifts are God-given, possessed without question. So that's where we start. Once you've realized your gifts, you have to share them. I understand that not everybody's built with this innate desire to be in the spotlight, but the best way to create the maximum impact is to share your gifts with the world. You see, I'm not afraid of dying. I'm just afraid of not living up to my full potential.